Alrighty guys, it's your neighborhood geek lord, yada yada, yeah. So let's get into showing you guys my crazy nip nip farm harvest. This is just going to be a quick harvest of all my current farms inside of my nip nip system. My nip nip powered system has a plethora of farms, all accessible on all difficulties, regardless of your difficulty. I'm not sure if you can harvest them on other difficulties. However, if you can't, you can just set your settings to the settings I use, which is only free power, which will set you in custom difficulty and quickly harvest these and then set it back with no problem. There's no issue doing that. It doesn't cause any issues. It doesn't mess anything up. And if you're in game, definitely do this. Uh, but as you can see here, I have two 10K stacks of facium right now. Uh, and I've only harvested my own farm a couple of times. I haven't harvested this a bunch. The thing with this farm is it's a gift, but don't abuse it. So that's the thing with all my farms, or do abuse it and use it for a nanite's farm. Because using this glyph that is my nip nip system and going to point atlas and gray, every single time I go to record, they just want to mess with me. Well, they got something coming to them today because I'm on the dang keyboard and mouse. So, you know, like, go on and get out of here because this is the Gek Lord and we don't play like that, you know? We just, we don't play like that. Where you at? Where you at? I know you at. There you at. Watch this. Watch this right now. Boom. Look at that. Check it out. Boom. Boom. Check it out. Boom. 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 Gek Lord. Multi-tool. RS last arsenal guys check it out we're going in right now check it out we're gonna go hide in here we're gonna go hide in here this is the power source this is one of the places where all the nip nip energy is collected this here is actually my nip nip energy generator source this is most of the tech that powers this base this is my vault for nip nip let's go ahead and check that out i'm gonna go ahead and show you what this is actually because uh we're using this heavily today we might as well look at it so check it out so this down here and we're not going to use the portal it goes directly in here but there's a portal that goes directly in here is a 10 storage container build here you can actually use this as public to use it's a public to use storage container you can access refiner here that is a setting i always have setting in my network settings so that other people can use my refiners and other things like that so uh, you can actually use these which means if you open up your inventory when you visit this, this base you can actually just dump whatever you don't need into uh if you use my storage system you have a really easy option of just spawning your ships in if you haven't seen my ship based storage system well, what are you doing because if you're in game and you don't use a ship based storage system we'll, we'll be updating that one soon by the way that one is going to be getting a hauler actually we're going to be uh, getting all s-class hauler ships because as everybody knows or most of the people on reddit at least know let me tell you that much right now uh they all know that if you use hauler ships you actually get the most storage on your ship most people don't know that and they just use all sentinel ships and i think what really needs to be clarified and what most people don't understand and the reason why only sentinel stuff's popular is because no one has clarified that multi-tools and ships both have different uses depending on what type they are so if they're a sentinel ship they're meant for combat maneuverability hyperdrive range and damage potential that's part of combat but if they're hauler ships while they might not look as good they're hauler ships they have a large inventory amount larger than even storage containers i mean my maxed out sentinel ships actually works fine i love them i don't mind them they work perfectly fine i never have an issue with them but i'm gonna go ahead and buy new haulers just to anticipate this fourth coming of nip nip these are gonna be nip nip haulers guys these are only gonna be used for our nip nip but anyway we're gonna get back on controller now i like to show most of my stuff on controller and then combat is on the keyboard and mouse now that the sentinels have left us alone a little bit let's see if we can do this this is going to be the only annoying issue of being the nimnip gag lord the sentinels are always on me even at my own bases they are always harassing me that's why i put the security cameras in that's why i got a wall around myself that is really where i'm at usually or in the portal going to some sort of glyphs i like to visit glyphs a lot i like to visit people's bases it's super inconvenient to have a portal base always have a portal base there's no reason not to just make sure there's a stinking exit some people build 
build stuff on portal bases and don't put exits and those people are called griefers here's how you report a base so you go over here and when you're around a base you normally see an option to report base so click it report base and it'll get rid of the base forever if you don't like a base report it there you go there's your solution anyway so let's continue so we're actually going to go ahead and just continue doing this storage system thing i'm doing here so i'm actually clearing all the nip nip out of my inventory for once and i think i already got it all uh Oh no, we got some on our freighter. I want to go ahead and put this in the storage generator too. I want to clear up my entire uh, inventory. I want to show you how this thing works and I want to show you a use case of the sorting method I use. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing here today. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and just get all the nip nip out of my inventory. So I'm going to be back. As you can see here, it's super simple. All you got to do is go X, S, and I use keyboard and mouse. Like I said, it makes it quicker, but I'll be back in just a second. We're just going to hang out in the base, man. I I'm sick of this. Here we go. This is our dip spot for like Sentinels, by the way, when we get an issue of this. And then we go hide by the base computer because that works. Because forget the Sentinels, man. We're going to deal with our stuff back here. Actually, we can sit by our terminal here and not get triggered by the police. The police won't come in here, I don't think, but here we go. This is going to be our transfer terminal. This nip nip has been cleared out. We now just need to get everything that's on my starship off of my starship. So we're just going to go ahead and move everything from my ship to my exosuit. This way I can transfer it to whatever ship it needs to go to. Uh, see, I think I kind of want to make a new ship. I don't know if I got any extra right now. If we don't, we're going to go ahead and find the glyph in this video, and I'm going to go ahead and show you a ship glyph while we're at it. I like to show a lot of things in my videos, so there's a lot of help going on in my videos. I'm also just wanting to show you this story system though but if we need another ship we're gonna go ahead and get a hauler i'm gonna go get my first hauler that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go buy a hauler today probably guys this is what we're probably gonna do we're gonna go get a hauler as the gek lord so the gek lord's about to go get a hauler guys me and the gek lord you know what i'm saying but uh let's go ahead and just send it to the exosuit like this so check it out there we go. If you do it right, it works better. You just got to click X, click X again, click X, click X again. And if you're on controller, click A, click A again, click A, click A again, or whatever button it is to transfer. I don't remember. It might be Y anyway. So that has cleared off our entire exosuit or our entire starship inventory. We need to get our exosuit and our freighter cleared out a little bit more. We're going to be transferring the stuff from our freighter bulkhead back to my exosuit. That's just the simplest way to do this. Just put it back on your exosuit. Uh, but we're gonna see what sort of ships we have because we need a new ship, that's for sure. Because I wanna put a Facium ship out now. I don't have one. So we're gonna go get a first hauler. The Facium ship and the Nip Nip Resources ship is also gonna be a Nip Nip storage ship. So we're just gonna keep the key resources up top and have a bunch of them stacked there so that when I'm building farms, I can just pull that ship out to do the Nip Nip. It's gonna have Nip Nip and it's gonna have Facium in it. And the Nip Nip in it is gonna be a large amount. So we're gonna go ahead and get some haulers, guys. Let's go get a hauler. I'm gonna find some glyphs real quick on the Nomad sky coordinate exchange you know what i'm saying so let's go Alrighty guys, so we do have our glyphs now. We're gonna go ahead and activate the portal. Here they are today. Pi Pi, we're gonna go ahead and go with ship. We're now gonna go ahead and go with this thingy my bobby. We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go ahead and go with this. We're gonna go ahead and go with three, one, two, three. We're now gonna go ahead and go with TP. We're now gonna go ahead and go with this thingy. We're now gonna go ahead and go with this thingy. And there we go, those are the glyphs. This is supposedly a 48 slot S-class hauler. This is stock 48 slot. So this is already almost as large as a normal storage container. I usually do when looking for glyphs and everything is see if maybe there's a base on it. I really should have typed with base because bases are just so much easier to find 
things on. It's annoying to have to actually search for the cords. I like it when there's a base I can just travel to. Luckily, it's a short distance from the space station. That's a good thing. But we cleaned our inventory, so we're scot-free anyway. We're riding clean today. That's what you need to do usually. It's not usually a good idea to roll around with a bunch of nib, -nib but I like to roll around with a bunch of nib, nib sometimes. I just forget to organize my inventory. That's what this video is mainly covering, so people don't start commenting stupid things like, Man, you don't leave a nib, nib in your inventory, so you can do running from the corpse videos. Well, yeah, kind of, but also because I always forget to do it and i'm always working on so many videos when i stay up for days making videos that i can't really uh you know take the time to stop to organize my system all the time so i'm gonna organize it now since i'm building a city and i think building can be a very organized inventory system and i think if i keep a system of organization i can continue to keep it organized so i just need to get my organization system down a little bit more on these i had it down and then i forgot to do it and i need to get in the routine of doing it daily i think that's my goal here uh, but we're going to go ahead and check the base computer and see where it's at. That might be the main communication station uh, thing there. We're going to check out your bases first. Let's see here. Uh, decor. Easy does it. Um, mold ship outpost near S-Class Hover. Near S-Class Haulers. Let's go here. Haulers. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to the galaxy system, whatever. This has a save beacon on it. I don't know why, actually. It's really annoying that there's a save beacon here in the hauler. Oh, I think the hauler spawns here, so let's see here. If it's a hauler, it's a hauler. We're buying a hauler. We'll do a nanites farm. We'll get us some nanites, and we'll be on our way i am going to show a different method for getting nanites in this video i don't usually show however since this is see this isn't completely the geck lord but it's always the geck lord so the main thing here is that there's haulers i need haulers i'm gonna buy haulers this is a shuttle we don't need a shuttle let's go buy some haulers these have the largest storage capacity so let's buy some haulers we're gonna buy as many as we can we're gonna finish off our ship collection with haulers actually so when i'm showing this is why i didn't want to have to continue showing glyphs on this channel as much and show them more on the at no man sky promos channel because showing a bunch of glyphs at once sounds a lot more fun with a lot of ships that way you can literally click pause on the video and pick your next ship that way and of the type you need so you're guaranteed to get the type you need still but you're not guaranteed to get the one you need so we're gonna go ahead and make an offer on this ship since we have so much money so we'll buy this we'll go and buy this for 60 million you know, the Gek Lord, we play on a difficulty setting that's a little interesting. It really does cause, you know, some interesting aspects sometimes. We're going to leave that hauler there for now. That's our new hauler. We're going to wait for our new haulers to land. And actually, we're going to go ahead and reload Restore Point because i got to reload my game because my controller bugged out. Now I can't use my controller again until I reload the game. The perks of PC, guys. We're back here at the haulers today. Uh, so the important thing to note about S-Class Hauler hunting is I do believe there's a chance of one of these to spawn as an S-Class Hauler. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed or if maybe the other one that said near hover was actually the one that was in. There's an actual S-Class over there. I don't care. You can check that out yourself when you visit here. However, we're just going to be continuing to buy haulers from here. Then reloading our restore point when haulers stop spawning so that they'll clear the map and they'll be gone. And the only ship that will remain is the one that we got in and out of. So we need to locate the pilot for this one. He's right here. We're going to go and buy his ship. Like I said, I play as the Gek Lord. My difficulty settings have where I can purchase more items from vendors. However, I have to pay more per item and I have to pay more per starship when I buy starships. So as you can see, this is only a B class and I'm paying 86 million, guys. I had to pay 86 million for that, man. This is why we grow nib nib, okay? I can't afford to live in this economy, guys. The Nibtopia economy. But maybe because, well, you just gotta build farms. That's all you gotta do is become a farmer and you can be rich in my economy. So move to my nib nib system today. Glyphs on screen now. And if you move here, you will be able to join in my nip nip powered economy. My nip nip powered economy basically means that if you want to sell glyphs to any sort of location and mention it in the chat on the anomaly or anything like that, you can go on the chat on the anomaly and mention, hey, I got some glyphs for sale, only 20 nip nip. 20 nip nip is equivalent to, let's see here, well, we might summon our freighter real quickly, actually, since my freighter can be summoned anywhere. Here we go, this is my freighter. So here is our nip nip vault, as you can see here, we're gonna go and check it out. So 20 is worth about a million credits. You could increase 
increase the price you could do 40 to number nip for about uh what is 2 million credits and anybody who gets this can take this and actually make a little bit more than what it's actually being posted for so uh while you're giving away that much uh nip nip that nip nip is actually worth a little bit more to you if you're smart and wise about how you sell it uh, so i'm actually going to pull some nip nip out here real quickly just to show you an example of how to sell some nip nip uh, and how to sell it right and get the right price so this seems like a prime galaxy to do this in this is my owned hauler i don't really see any more haulers spawning i think it's not going to spawn anymore we're going to go ahead and reload the restore point and i'll see you on a minute Got an A class, never mind guys. Holler's on the way, we didn't have to reload yet. But we're gonna go ahead and collect this. It's good to reload every time you get a new ship, just because then it saves it. That is how you save in this game, is just hopping in and out of your ship. It's the quickest way to save for a restore point save. Restore point saves are important in all sorts of cases, so just always use restore points, guys. They're just super useful. Restore points are great, so uh, make an offer. Actually, before we make an offer, this guy's an A class. He should have some good prices for buying my goods. So let's see here, we're gonna try and sell some nip nip to him. We're gonna see what his price is for this nip nip. Uh, and I think it's on my freighter actually. I don't know why I put it on my freighter. That's not a good idea. We're actually gonna move it to our exosuit so that we can sell it to him. Hi, hey, I got some nip nip for you, buddy. Got some nip nip. Right here, right here. Right. How's the trade? Uh, we're gonna go to sell. I'm only gonna show this once, so I don't think I'm gonna do this in every video. It's like a gag or something. Plus 2.7%, guys, check it out. So we got 2.7% higher than the normal value of a nip nip. That's another thing to know about the game. There is a base economy, so plugging nip nip into that economy, it is an illegal good, so you have to gotta run from the space police. But since we're fighting so many sentinels, it kinda seems like this is a war on the space police for not liking nip nip. That's my theory here, guys. That's the whole story of No Man's Sky. But as you can see there, million credits, just like that, back to 480. We're gonna leave it at that though i have some money already i don't need to sell any of my nip nip we are going to be doing a full harvest of the farm in this video guys so this video is a lot of teaching i'm teaching you stuff to do in the game i'm also uh harvesting all my farms i'm showing you how much money i make every single day off of nip nip buy and add the collection 55 million a class for 55 million that's not even a bad price i like this guy i would buy do business with with him again well like i said i'm actually going to uh we're going to see how many we have real quick because i want to know how many i have because yeah there we go buy and we can continue to buy as long as we can continue to buy uh that is the important part we now have three of them here though so i think we've probably hit peak unless one more hauler somehow magically lands in which is very unlikely i will go ahead and mention uh, now we could go ahead and reload in one of the hauler ships and call it the nip nip hauler ship and i might go ahead and do that actually i kind of want to stock one anyway and since we do need to be building one we're going to choose our favorite one our easiest one to build so here we go this one right here now i oh i don't know for sure i'm not 100 percent sure but we're going to go ahead and hop in this uh ship here uh and i will Alrighty guys, so we're now just in our hauler. We're gonna go ahead and see what sort of collection we got here. So we got this one, which is Breath of Ramira. We're gonna remember that name. We're now gonna look and see what we got going on here. So anything already pre-named is not it. One, two, and we got a third one and a fourth one landing now. Let's go ahead and pick this ship up. Like I said, I get all my money from my Nip Nip Farms. That is how we're able to purchase this with such a high price that we have set ourselves to i think normal price is actually like four million or something but our price maybe 10 million maybe 20 million but our price guys is 95 million tell me there's nothing to spend the money on the game in what are you doing guys you could even pay for starship up or storage upgrades on this baby if you wanted to We're using credits i'm not going to i'm calling my contact the nimble of gub lord always got a contact so we call him the contact why wouldn't we call the contact to upgrade these babies it's just simple like that We'll pay to contact off, of course, using nip, nip but, you know. Okay, being that we got our fourth, and I don't know how many more ships I can buy, we're actually going to go ahead, and I'm hoping none of these actually ever end up on my freighter. That's the thing. Since I have never taken them to the freighter, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and take this hauler back to the portal if we can, so I'll see you in a minute. The nip, -nip Gek Lord might decide to take his hauler uh, to the space station. Well, it's very simple. There's no nip nip on this, and there's no illegal tech on this, and there's nothing suspicious about a hauler ship. So, 
once he gets a cargo deflector on this bad baby, and he real good with the cargo deflector. Let me tell you, they almost never catch him. He's usually just cargo deflecting it, even on the highest difficulties, guys. Uh, once I get a cargo deflector on this bad baby, we're going to be able to take this to trade stations and take ship runs to trade stations. So we're going to do that today in this ship. I do believe. I'll see y'all in a minute. Alrighty guys, so since the game limits the currency system to only 4 billion and we have so much to know anyway, here's how we are going to be paying our contact off that we are soon to be calling. So ring ring your contact. What's up, dude? I need I need some stuff. I got a new holla in and I, I need that tech you got me last time. Uh, you go good tech. How many stacks of nip nip do you need? Hundred stacks, dude. That's a lot. I said a hundred stacks. I, I'll get my drone. To send it over right away. No problem, guys. Let's send them his way. This is how you send it. Holding our stick, one stack sent to our contact. Two stack sent to our contact. Three stack sent to our contact. He wants a hundred of these. Four stack. Let's go ahead and send them all hundred. And just so you know, this means we're selling two storage containers full of nip nip just to be able to use this tech we're getting from our hookup. So don't think we ain't paying for these difficulty change settings we about to be doing to unlock this uh, ultimate freighter S class here. I'll see you in a minute. And since I label all my storage containers for farm names and I don't have any other one named Soaring Orbs. O2. I have a soaring orbs greens, but not a soaring orbs O2 greens. Oh, so we gotta find another one full of nip nip. Here we go. Here, let's see if we even got enough nip nip on us. Man, this dude asking for too much. So he said a hundred stacks of nip nip. So ten stacks on the ship, right? So then we got it. I. Right. So what I meant by 100 stacks, and I'm going to go ahead and clarify this. What I meant by 100 stacks was basically 50 mil is what we paid. We paid 50 mil. I'm calling that good. 100 stacks of nip nip on a ship would be 10 times however many storage slots are on the ship. So 100 stacks of nip nip is a stack of nip nip is 10 nip nip. That is the lesson we learned today. A stack of nip nip is 10 nip nip. And we just sold 50 stacks of 20 nip nip, meaning we sold 100 stacks of nip nip. That means we paid about 50 mil for the stuff that we got. And the guy that we sold it to, or the guy that we traded it to, we bartered this, okay? We bartered this nip nip with this guy, okay? We gave him this so much nip nip, he gave us this illegal text. So uh, let's go ahead and use our text. So don't worry. Hopefully the space police don't catch us here. So we're going to go ahead and go to our difficulty settings. This is some illegal tech here, guys. This is the this is the hookup our guy got us. Okay, so check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here now is set crafting and purchases to free. This will allow us to, uh, thanks to the tech, our guy got us. So remember, we spent 50 million worth of nip nip on this, okay? That's a lot of money, okay? I could have sold that and got that in credits. I'm 50 million credits down here just for this illegal tech here that I just bought. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Starship outfitting. We're going to go ahead now and that we have went ahead and did this is upgrade starship we can go ahead and upgrade everything for free now this is all thanks to the tech that we got from our contact and the reason why this actually does keep it from feeling like it's a cheating form is due to the fact that you just spent 50 million credits in your nip nip and us people that be selling on nip nip when you got this much nip nip know that it is so great to sell that much nip nip and some of us keep 10 storage containers full until we get our nip nip to enough to make half a billion so we can just collect half a billion real quick because that's basically what you can do when you get a store in storage container full is collect half a billion i need to get two 10 storage containers full to make a billion in one day off of 28 farms so micro farms are gonna have to be used you know it guys just the gut lord but anyway claim scrap worth 49.5 units so we're not going to do that. <laughs> We're going to get this upgraded. I'll see you all in a minute. That should be S class, I think. It said A earlier, too, I think. But we'll find out. Yeah, max class. That's what I thought. Purchase storage. Here we go. Let's go ahead and max this out. I'll see you all in a minute. You know, it's actually funny. This game doesn't have as quick of an animation on the controller as it does on the mouse when you're doing this. I don't know why. I guess they only want people that 
are on PC to be using difficulty settings who can rationalize why they use the setting and maybe do their own cost system for it because you should charge yourself every Alright, now our contact also got us another feature I want to show you. Being that we can install any tech we need, this guy is the tech hookup. Okay, so uh, we're going to make sure, yeah, there we go. We can just upgrade it all. So right now, I don't know if that was a supercharger slot. I think it was. No, it wasn't. This is about underneath everything. So I'm just going to get all the tech placed, and then we're going to go through and organize it. So we're going to place it all down here. I'm going to tell you the best setup for your tech on your hauler. So let's go. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to go ahead and cover real quickly uh, is that we got our cargo deflector in a supercharger slot. This should allow it to work a little bit better. We're also going to go ahead and move our other scanners nearby that now. Alright guys, let's go ahead and look at this a minute. This isn't the final setup here. I wish the max class reach thing would go away. We might reload to fix that, actually. And can we move this now? Yeah, we're going to move this. So this is going to be our... Uh, we'll move this, too. So I'm going to move this quickly, hopefully. What is this? Photon cannon. I need that supercharged. That's going to be our primary weapon, I think. And we're going to stick these all by each other so they're all linking. There we go. Okay, so I think this is my current... Uh, let's move on. So this is going to be my build for this hauler. We're going to go ahead and rename it to Nip Nip Hauler 01. Hopefully the space police can't see the name of our ship like others can see the name of our ship. Actually, no one can see the name of our ship but us. That's the great thing about it. And the name's only visible to you. Anyway, so check it out here. Pulse engine. Uh, I want to move one more thing. Alrighty guys, we're back at the space station. Let's go ahead and check out our loadout here. So we're gonna have to scroll up because we gotta scroll up, but you know anyway. So we got the launch auto charger fitted to the starship launch thrusters, allows for a slow trickle charge while the ship is not in operation. You get it. So anyway, this is just the setup. Copy it if you want it. This is my hauler setup. I'm just gonna go through and let each one of them slowly show you what it does. Pause it if you need to see what they do. I don't feel like reading all of these. That just sounds like adding way too much to the video and I don't mean this to be a long portion. Our cargo scan deflector, I will go ahead and note, is supercharged. That's an important key. Our key weapon is actually going to be a supercharged Dyson pump. That's going to be our key weapon. I figured that'd be interesting. I keep everything in a sort of setup where everything lines up. All the stuff that goes together, when you put it beside each other, actually gets the most out of it. This is just a simple nip-nip hauler design. This is a hauler. Haulers aren't really meant for combat or anything like that. They're mainly meant for storage capacity, and the storage capacity does this thing have. Check it out. That's 120 plus 60. That's 180. Uh, it's yeah pretty good you know i mean that's not bad at all that's pretty good storage if you ask me that's what a 60 storage container maybe is that what it is because a storage container is 20 so it's 100 technically and this is 160 so it's 60 over what a normal storage container is from what i do know i do believe it's double stacks storage containers it might be single stacks and only double stacks freighters i'm not sure but anyway so ships are the best for storage we're gonna get back to close point we're gonna go ahead and get our inventory organized let's go so we're gonna use portal travel. I know that's kind of disappointing because normally I like to fly to all of them because they're all in the NIP-NIP system. However, we're just gonna go ahead and transfer all this to our freighter real quickly. This is just the easiest way to store when you have a lot amount of stuff. So a lot of this is going to my refiner up on my refiner factory at the, uh, you know, and this is how you do it on a controller too. It's, it's efficient either way, especially if you have fast movement speed on your cursor on the controller with joist or thumbstick bumps so you know anyway i'll see you in a minute but we're gonna go harvest these farms we're gonna count how many there are you know what the gecko of them all right guys so our starship and our exosuit is now clear we're gonna go ahead and just clear our freighter that's all we're gonna do we're not gonna go through any storage or anything i'll be back in just a second when i get my freighter clear i will be showing you how i do this see you in a minute Hey guys, so the first thing I do when I go to organize my system or just add stuff to a ship is just spawn it over here, right here at Point Glyph. If you're using Point Glyph this way, you can maybe use it. Uh, haulers do actually, I think, spawn in at Point Glyph, so I might be able to buy my haulers here. I should have just tried buying them here, but you know, anyways. 
As you see, raw materials is now here. We're gonna go ahead and just start transferring our raw materials in our freighter to our ship now. Uh, this is easily done. I'm just going to do the raw materials. I think I'll see you in a minute. You can see here, just simple. You get it, Starship. Even with putting way too much Magno Gold that I'm comfortable putting in my raw material Starship, even though it's just a refiner material, we are still looking at a plenty amount of storage in this Starship. And do know I have a ton of stuff. We're also putting some crafting goods in here just to get them out of the way. Uh, some things are going to be remaining in here. I don't know where that sent that. That's not a good thing. We'll send this to the Starship as well. And I think we'll call that good enough. We should be able to harvest all of our farms. We might have to send some things to storage containers, but we do have storage containers at all our farms. So if you want to harvest these yourself, you can use the storage containers and send your nip nip to the storage container as well. Do make sure your multiplayer is harvest if you want to harvest any of my farms. I do have plenty of farms. We're going to go to Niptopia first, actually. So we're going to count the bases first. That's the other thing we're going to do before we do that first, of course. I want to know how many bases I have going on. So uh, we actually, and I'm going to count just bases. Planner's Peak. We have Planner's Peak. We have Nip Nip Marketplace. We have Soaring Orb Greens. We have Sentinel Nip Nip. We have, so that's... We're going to count just farms. One, this is currently a farm. This will be a farm. Two, three, four. And let's see here. We're going to go up. We got five, six. This is not an infinite base and not in this galaxy. More info on that base later, but you know. So I think we got six going on here. So we're gonna go to District 2 and harvest it first. I wanna go ahead and show you District 2, just the farm. It's not even close to built. I haven't actually got time um, made to actually sit down and continue working on Niptopia. It is work in progress. It's probably what I'm gonna do next, but I did need to actually gather the resources before I could build Niptopia anyway. So I figured what I'd do is cover how to get some more, well, it's not resources. This is my storage system, but you know, I'll see you in a minute see Oceanside Green or not Oceanside Greens I'm getting confused now so uh, this should take us down here yes so this took us here but uh, normally if you visit this you'll be visiting this from District 1 first so when you visit this from District 1 there is actually a teleporter in this top room here the harvest button is, or was there a teleporter is there a teleporter there needs to be a teleporter it's not a teleporter I may not have done that yet okay so the only teleporter we got currently is going down here but uh, so first things first head up here and just go ahead and harvest a couple plants just so that you can see the harvest button and just harvest until you can see it because that is the downfall of this farm. This farm is incomplete. I do need to add more dot biodomes here. And as a matter of fact, can we add any biodomes? Let's see if we can add one baby biodome. We can add one baby biodome. So to add another one, since we already got one, we just had to copy it. So that's another wonderful thing is just creating one of these will give you this technology forever. Uh, the problem is just getting to select the biodome. Hey, we had the biodome selected. There we go. So we're actually just going to clip one of these in the side of it as a harvest biodome or maybe sticking up a little bit compared to the rest. Let's try here. I'm going to test this theory out. I've thought about this already. This is how I'm going to try and do a harvest button. Here we go. Bang. As you can see here, harvest button made. Let's go ahead and make another harvest button real quickly. We need to go to edit part. This harvest button is easily copyable. We're actually going to make them all. I'll see you in a minute. Who's that tech we got from that guy? Uh, is 50 mil enough to be able to add stuff to my thing? Probably. You know what? I think I might start paying for a guy for building soon enough using Nip Nip. Though that will have to be at least a billion credits. As a matter of fact, I think that's what we're going to theme the building of the farms around. I think we're going to take a pause on Niptopia and build all the farms real quickly and get to that billion credits. And then after that, we're going to go and go ham on Niptopia. I'm going to go full-blown creative and I'm going to go build Niptopia. I'm going to take all of the two billion that I made. We're raising this two billion to build a city. Spending two billion dollars is a fair price to buy a city. So I'm essentially going to be buying a city. That is the plan here. But right now, we need everything to be on our normal settings. Apply difficulty settings, there we go. I do not use my contact too often. However, since I was still able to blow a bunch of money in the form of Nip Nip, it's fine. As you can see here, all of our buttons have been placed for this farm. This is a multi-button farm still, but it's still a matter of seconds to harvest, as you can see here, and it is tons of material. I'm just wanting to show you the materials I'm getting from this, all of the farms, as a matter of fact. Check it out, that should be everything. So that is super simple. This is a microbiodome farm. As you can see here though, our starship got filled with some of the stuff, so it went 
over here but we have tons of resources a lot of my resources like the frost crystal comes from farms i have built already my facium comes from farms i have built already this had facium in it and as you can see here this still had a handful of nip in it so still very good this isn't really a nip nip based purely farm but i wanted to show it because of the amount of resources that it does give you it gives you more diet and everything else it's a whole ton of resources stuck into one little microdome farm that's harvestable in like eight buttons even if they don't look the most pleasant they do look really cool actually and i think even if you were to build them all and just leave one or two missing it might work out better but anyway we're gonna get to the next farm see you in a minute So real quickly, I know we're in a loading screen, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you about the economy a bit more. So the economy of Niptopia is a trust-based economy. It is mainly the story I'm trying to tell, and I know this is kind of behind the scenes and it might even go up on No Man's Sky promos, but uh, this is kind of behind the scenes -y of the Gek Lord. But the story I'm trying to tell over on the At Gotcha Beast channel is actually that greed is the ruiner of all above all things so people like to can get confused and they like to stick to old time ways and think that things like nip nip or other things are not good or bad or that should be hated on and it's just well it's a horrible health concern it's not a horrible health concern it really isn't i mean that's just the honest truth there that's all i'm going to say about nip nip but uh let's go ahead and harvest these farms check it out let's go we're going to speed run this oop booped in too soon we're going to go back bang Bop that, bop that. I might actually start doing that from now on. That might be a speed running tactic. Oops, and we're back here. And technically we could harvest a dome across. I might try a farm like that where you can harvest them from externally. Here we go. We'll go here, and now we're gonna go. I kind of put these backwards so that it'd be like a blocker. So you have to fight through it, yes, but at least there's a blocker there, so you know. Uh, here's this, let's go here. Let's go ahead and head here. And this is the other thing I love about microdome based farms. Even if they're not microdomes, this is all pre microdome Gek Lord before we discovered the uh, microdome technology. This is just double biodomes, I do believe. This wasn't even a triple biodome farm yet. We will be showing my triple dome farm, I think, next. I actually have two of them, so we'll be showing both of those. Triple domes work fine. The microdomes, I think the issue with it is the amount of domes, the reason why a microdome doesn't really want to work in a triple dome. I did try microdomes in a triple dome. That was the original idea for the 3000 nip nip farm, but I think the idea now is just going to be having multiple harvest buttons on linked up microdomes. I think that's the best farm for Nip, nip now i think i'm going to show that next and that did work but i don't have it fully planned and this is the other problem with oceanside greens is it is an early farm and since i knew this technology wasn't exactly the best but i didn't want to do micro biodomes yet to kind of you know promote the channel with these farms because they're still really good farms that still make me a ton of credits these farms all make me credits uh ooh, is this the one yeah, this is the one that messed me up. So I think I can actually get back, though. Can we get back? No, it's gonna, it's gonna be real stupid today, isn't it? We're gonna fix this, so. My solution when I run into one of these, sadly enough, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to you. I happen to have all the materials I need to. That is sweet. I just did a resource farm, that's right. Now I can actually get in there. I don't know how annoying it'd be to link up, but it doesn't matter, because I don't need to. We're gonna go ahead and go here now. See, this is the problem. Whoops, that's not it. there we go now we're back in here now that the doorway there it doesn't cause any issues here we go if you ever run into that with these hallways instead of having to move the teleporter again just place a door there use the underwater ones are the nicest they give you the most room to open there and it's just an over open area so usually the portal won't bug out that way just a little tip there well you know let's harvest this farm i'll see you in a minute actually once this is done it's just repeated the same thing Actually, at the end here already, I love the exit when you take it the inside way, but if you take it this way, you'll start in the exit. So you can do start or end runs on this. It does not matter. It's up to you if you want to experience it a different way, you can. I'm going to go ahead and get my hauler out, actually. We don't actually have that. And in order to show you easier, it was... Uh, Nipnipolar 01. We named it. That's how we can find our ships easier is when you name them. Don't be afraid to name your ships, guys. There's our ship. Let's get to the portal. Let's go to the next base. Topia District 1, guys. See ya there.
This is Niptopia. Originally, I thought was 3,000 plant. Turned out just to be the standing planters. We're gonna harvest the first biodome. This is going to give us how much nip nip? That's 201 nip nip, guys. One single dome. You can grow anything in these domes. You can harvest anything in this large amount of farming. As you can see here, 254. The only thing you gotta do is use nip nip energy to power your base, like I have done here. Let's go ahead and get a little shot of this since I haven't shown enough of the city. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and just kind of spin into it. This is gonna cover the entire planet one day. That is the goal. We're just building slightly above planet. That's how you're supposed to build assets for games so that even if the gro ground does clip in, it's okay because you just gotta build above ground. So you can use walls to build a foundation or anything else. You don't have to build on stilts. You can build on foundations. I don't get why people recommend just stilts, but uh, yeah, as you can see here, this is Niptopia. And we're gonna get this last biodome harvested and then we're gonna go on to what is gonna be the final farm. So here is the harvest button right here on the screen for all of the Nip Nip. Check it out right here. 287 every single time I harvest my Nip Nip here at this farm. I just get to look at this beautiful farm. And anyone who moves to Niptopia, because it's going to be a planet wide base, but part of it is just going to be walled off sections. And those are going to be some of the districts. The districts are actually going to be community sections where you can move to this galaxy and live and use the farm shops and everything else I'm going to set up. The shops are going to be trust based, which means you got to. Go ahead and delete the nip nip that I tell you to delete on these farms every single time you use them because they will only be replenishable every so many hours. And if you play on multiplayer, then you can really immersify, but if you don't play on multiplayer, then you can play no multiplayer, not affect anybody else's economy. And when you sell that nip nip, you're spending that much money on the resource deposit. I'm gonna have resource dispensers that are harvestable every so many hours. That's what I'm gonna do with all the micro domes. So uh, that's what I'm gonna actually start trying to market them as on shorts. But anyway, let's get to the next farm. This is gonna be Sentinel nip 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 built nip nip. Alrighty, guys, we are now at Sentinel Pillars. We're going to go ahead and get a little drone shot of this crazy base. This is all I'm going to give you for a shot of this. I'm going to be doing a shorts on the No Man's Sky promos channel soon enough of all of my nip nip powered bases. I just want to kind of get people looking at them, see what they look like. The shorts actually going to have everything animated because if you use the base computer, we'll actually go ahead and do that a little bit here. This a little bit of a preview here. Let me show you how you go not upload. Well, that's a good idea too, but one second. Okay, guys, and another thing to note about this is there's actually a trapped minotaur here. You can just continuously farm. He can't even attack you or anything. If you bring a good weapon, you can kill minotaurs and sentinels and everything else here while you harvest the nip nip. You could actually technically farm glass here while also waiting for the nip nip to regrow every four hours. That is an interesting idea. This would allow you to just continuously harvest this thing and make a bunch of money. It'd be interesting. I might actually try it one day just to make some earnings, you know. There's gonna be a hustle to do. And I think glass plus this would be a nanites plus this farm. So, uh, you yeah, know, but any who, uh, let's get this harvested. And once again, you need directional. You could have stepped on either pad. It would have taken you through. There's only 16 domes here. This features the triple biodome design. This is a much faster design than the double biodome design. The harvest button is right above the portals every single time you load in. It all uses a uniform design on this base of the triple biodome. All harvesting, I think it's 48 nip nip per biodome here and since there's no openings on any of these biodomes because they're i put the teleporters in here and then i remove the door so that it's just an open empty biodome this triple biodome powered by nip nip energy and this one's technically the theme here was the sentinel pillar is technically powering this because we're using the sentinel's energy to turn nip nip into an energy source and this base is one of the processing bases. So Sentinel Pillars are actually gonna be the main power source for the entire system. That is gonna be the theme here. Uh, ooh, we got backtracked, but here, there's some here. So let's continue. It's really easy to figure out where you're going because you just gotta look at the other domes because you can see every single dome from this farm. That's the other thing I like about this farm is even if you get lost, 
see we have one left let's go ahead and harvest that and get out of here and get on to the last farm i do believe Ah, uh, so we got two farms left guys soaring orb greens here we go all righty guys we are here this will take us in right by the portal as you can see here harvest button look over go over harvest 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 go over oh this is an interesting one oops gotta go back harvest go over 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 harvest over harvest over harvest over harvest over and we're done and now for a bonus of this farm this is also a carbon farm let's go inside as well in just a minute Oops. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and check our inventory. 4.5k carbon just from this little farm here and Oceanside Greens maybe. I don't think Oceanside Greens, I think it's just this farm. This is 5,000 carbon farm guy. This, this is an easy 5,000 carbon for anybody who visits the system and visits this farm. It's also some nip nip from this farm and the nip nip from this farm is pretty great. Uh, the freighter is completely filled. The exosuit is completely filled. The starship is working on it. It's a hauler. It has a lot of storage. The freighter has a couple of items that aren't nip nip, but it's mostly nip nip. And we have one final farm. This was my original biodome farm before I discovered double biodomes. Before I discovered triple biodomes. Before I discovered microbiodomes. There were single biodome creative power linked farms. These farms didn't- oh no, I think these were still double biodomes. So this was still a double biodome farm, guys. I, I learned double biodomes very quickly. I just put two biodomes on top of each other really quickly and I was like, Wow, that harvest 32? That's a great farm. So uh, we're going to check out a double biodome farm again i don't i actually yeah oceanside greens was a double biodome but it was a mass double biodome this one is the slowest farm by far and the least likely i suggest you to farm this was just the initial idea of creating lucrative amounts of money using nip nip i'll see you in a minute righty guys so well this is semi portaled towards the end i started using portals for the most part i was lazy and the reason why i was actually is this is a keyboard and mouse more style farm so if you're on pc you might like this farm it's kind of a fun thing to do i like to take my gun i like to run through here i like to hold the e button while harvesting this one since it's only double bio dumps you really don't ever run into any big issues however in a farther section of the base where it hasn't loaded in you might want to be waiting especially where there's portals involved long distance on this one this one has some long distance short portals i don't like because it takes a minute to load the nip nip and if i'm not careful i can break the base y'all can't actually break the base you just have to reload restore point i do believe and the nip nip would be back Ooh, inventory full halfway through so uh my solution to this is going to be just x empty my exo suit and we're gonna sell what's just in our inventory first at a starship or at a space 
yeah, at a trade station is where we're gonna go. So we're gonna go to a trade station, we're gonna sell what's just in our inventory once we harvest this farm, and then we're gonna pull stuff out of the freighter after that, and we're gonna see how much what we currently hold in our freighter, as well as what we have ends up getting. Uh, hopefully we get some good percents on the traders, but I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty guys, so from one or two, maybe three or four double biodomes in, we're gonna go ahead and see how much you, how many times we're gonna fill our exosuit. So let's go ahead and harvest and run. Harvest. Harvest. My exosuit's fully maxed out, by the way. I know it's not, my exosuit's not maxed. That's kind of player progression. That's something you can't really, you don't want to cheat on. That's something I don't want to cheat on, is the storage in my exosuit. I want to actually upgrade that legitimately, because there's so many ways of getting those, there's no reason not to. But I'll see you in a minute. Well, yeah, we're just gonna time lapse this part. Alrighty guys, second part. All the plants have actually loaded in. Very nice. Harvest all plants. Go with the next one. And this is my favorite part. This is a slower version of next one from the other farms, but... Uh, it's still a next one nonetheless. It's very quick, but I'll see you in a minute. It doesn't actually take many warps from this. This wasn't too many. This is only stands to hold it. It's a nib nib powered bridge, so the entire farm is a nib nib generator. I want to go back and add stuff to it, and I think I'm going to make a city uh, where Project Nip Nip is if it's not already on the same planet as Niptopia. I think it's actually on the adjacent planet to Niptopia because it's going to be two planet based cities eventually. That is the goal. I am going to be creating them all on this channel while also doing guides. Uh, this is a form of one of those guides. As you can see, finished. Awesome. So that's all of my farm, guys. The only thing we have left to do, and hopefully y'all don't mind this is a longer video. I think it's a pretty cool video. So all we have to do now is find a good trade station to sell this to. And I always go out of system for this, guys. We have a cargo deflector, so hopefully we don't run into too many space police. But if we do, we got to end. But we do got some weapons if we do need to fight but hopefully we don't need to i'll see you in a minute when we get to a different system you never want to sell your nip nip from this system on this system always go to a different system that's kind of how the economy in no man's sky works is visit other systems so that you can get a higher price for items so you can make a little bit more money it's it's a hustle it's it, they're trying to show it it's like this game is supposed to be like real life it's what it's supposed to be like but it's space so you're living in space and it feels like real life that's the goal here and we're not going to go to Criminal Galaxies. Never go to a Criminal Galaxy. We're going to go to Two Star. Two Star sounds good enough. We're going to go find a trade station. We have a trade station scanner on here, so we're able to instantly find trade stations. We also have a cargo deflector in case any space police come after us. We can just constantly spam the cargo deflector and hope that we're able to use it. And if we're not, we do have a way of instantly getting away from the police in any starship. Uh, and if that doesn't work, we have an emergency warp. And if the emergency warp somehow fails and we still end up having space police on our butts, then uh, so all we need to do is land so that I can get to on a hauler on my freighter actually if I had the worst come outcome where I could get some repair kits out and then I would just repair my ship so that I'd have all those technologies repaired again being the cost of the repair kits because repair kits are quite expensive on the difficulty settings I play on uh, I would have my entire ship for repaired so i just visit the repair shop as the geck lord the geck lord would go to his favorite repair shop and his favorite repair shop is usually criminal galaxies but anyway as you can see here we are now here we're gonna go ahead and get back in our ship i don't know why i'm out of my ship we're gonna go ahead and locate a trade station like i said in multiple videos i don't really get much sleep i like to I get obsessed with stuff. I'm ADHD, so I get hyper-focused, so I never have a shut-off button, so I just want to keep making YouTube videos and keep making YouTube videos and keep making YouTube videos, and right now I'm given the full-time position almost to make YouTube videos in here. I had a trade station right here, so we're going to go to this trade station. I just keep making videos. I don't ever sleep hardly, and when I do, I crash out. So I basically spend two days awake and I crash out. I spend two days awake and I crash out. That's why I'm able to get so much content up, because I'm able to do this full-time, even though... Yeah, but I'll see y'all in just a minute when we're at the trade post. Oop, cargo to scan. Let's do it. Let's keep make sure we are clean to this thing. We only need to get to the trade station, so it's really not a big deal. Ooh, I didn't need the... Ooh, I'm glad that wasn't the emergency warp. I have done that a couple times where it automatically opened to the menu of the emergency warp while spamming the cargo deflector, and it works the entire random system. Just one of the perks of being the gag lord, man. Okay, so I might actually build a base at this trade station. I like trade station bases, but uh, let's get landed here. And none of the pads want to work. I love this. We're going to crash our freaking new ship. There we go. Land. There we go. So, 
This should have an antimatter thingy on it, so we should be able to sell from the ship, I do believe. So we should be able to sell the ship and the exosuits inventory extremely quickly. I'm going to, before selling to anybody, and we're going to go see what the price of this guy is. And hey, look, it's a shuttle. I mean, I don't remember what shuttles are good for, if anything. Maybe they might be good for, like, cargo scan deflectors or something. I don't know. I want to look into shuttles. I, I want to see a use case of a shuttle, but anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Only paying negative 3.9%. We're going on to the next guy. Negative 3.1%. Since this is such a close neighboring system, I wonder if maybe people are just going to the neighboring trade post and selling to the stupid galactic trade terminal. We'll try another ship. Let's go. 1.9%. Here we go. So, this is going to be exosuit inventory. This is going to be making us 24 million credits. Real quickly. This is going to be the... Starship inventory, 40 million credits, real quickly. That's totaling 65 million credits made off of just that. Now, we are going to go ahead and summon our freighter. So, let's go ahead and do a summon freighter. It does have the antimatter upgrade, so let's see if that actually functions. Uh, let's test it out here. We're going to go ahead and offer to trade. No, it doesn't. I, I was afraid of that. Can I sell? No. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and have to transfer as much of it as possible to our Exosuit, our Starship, and my Pack Mule. I like to use uh, the... Since I have my freighter upgraded to where I can summon... Wrong one. Where I can summon my Minotaur at any time. My Minotaur is actually my Pack Mule. He's actually spawnable on the trade station. Wonderful Pack Mule. You can load him full of Nib Nib and then later transfer it to yourself. I don't know if he actually has an upgrade for... AI pilot, that's all. Uh, self greasing Minotaur radar array, but not, I'm not seeing anything useful. Okay, I'll see you in a minute when we get this transferred. This is gonna take a minute. Go ahead and just transfer as much as we can to our Minotaur so that we can continue to send stuff from our freighter to our exosuit. And now we can just scroll through all the boxes here and find any nip nip here. Actually sending this directly to my freighter so that all of it is cleared out of the boxes here so that when I go to send it to my starship, I don't have to go to each individual box to do that. I can just go ahead and send it straight from the freighter. It's a system for me, you don't have to do it that way. You can just send it straight to your exosuit or starship this way. However, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of it off of these storage containers so that I don't have to push the Q or the E key ever again. So let's go ahead and do that. And our exosuit's actually full too. We were able to fill our exosuit and also push it to the freighter. The cargo bulkhead is used as kind of like, if I want something from any of these, I send it to the cargo bulkhead and then and we're gonna clear this out. There needs to be nothing from this. This is only for nip nip storage. This is the only thing I use storage containers for is storing farm materials, as I think most people should. If you get any farm going on, I need to hatch that thing. I wonder what it turned into. I started that days ago. I haven't even worked on the Fauna Labs project yet, but that is coming. That's gonna be a part of district, probably three or four. I don't know what district, I don't know when Fauna Labs is coming, guys. Fauna Labs is coming. So every district is actually gonna be like a new video series coming to the channel. Uh, that is meant to help you, but also tell a story of the Kick Lords, so, yeah. And this is the only one I'm going to break character a whole bunch of for the Kick Lord. For most videos, I'm actually just going to be the Kick Lord, so, yeah. And they're all clean. This is why I don't install much tech to my freighter, actually. Just so I can do this. I got the core tech I need. As you can see here, we got all the drives and everything. I don't know if they're all installed, but they are all there, so... Yeah, that's the important part. Anyway, let's see if maybe this guy's still here. I think he is, actually. Are you still ready to buy, bro? What's your price? What's your price? Name your price. I'll tell you what I got. Four, so we'll add 24. And we're going to go ahead and add what is going to be 57. 24 plus 57. And we're going to go ahead and get the last of our nip nip off our freighter now. And our exocraft. I do actually want to pimp out my Exocraft soon enough. I think I'm going to blow some money and pimp him out. Probably going to be spending Nip Nip to do that, but anyhow. Yeah, let's get in our ship for this, actually. This is a wise idea. I don't like getting in it because that guy might fly away, but I doubt it. Uh, yeah, that needs to go. That's fine on the starship. 
We just need it off our freighter. So I'm going to be keeping about this much nip nip on my freighter for now. I'm actually going to move it to Ocean Side Greens off camera. But that's going to be the money I keep for both the nip nip in the vault at Point Glyph. It's supposed to be broadcasted to all the farms. Uh, and the nip nip in the vault is actually all being processed into energy. But it doesn't get used when it's being used as energy. It's just using the Sentinel tech to use its energy to power it because everybody knows nip nip has a great great amount of energy to it if you know what i'm saying so of course it's the powering of our bases right guys you know what i'm saying anyway so uh we just have to get stuff off the exocraft the stuff on our freighters thing that's our current base amount of currency we have in the nip nip currency due to the fact that and we actually added something to the freighter which is completely fine because i don't want to add I don't want to sell everything I own, so, you know, don't sell all your money, guys. Nip nip is money. Nip nip is money. Just try and use nip nip like money. Think of it like that. Think about it. What do you think? It seems like a good idea to me, but let's go find the vendor. 1.5, that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. We're going to estimate this up. 24 mil here. Some of these estimated down, so that's fine. 24 mil, 15 mil. Well, bang, and our Minotaur, did he have anything left? No, he didn't. So that is that. That is how much we have made today. Let's tally this up, guys. So I actually wrote down all the numbers we made so that I can tell you the exact amount we made. We're buying this hauler, and I really need to recharge some equipment after I fix it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna work on something after this, but. Whoops, don't wanna do that. Negotiate price. Oh, I got to exchange, decline. Never mind. See you in a bit, guys. Alrighty, guys. This has been the Geck Lord. We started the video at 220 million credits. We now have what is... A hundred and eighty-five million credits made off of nip nip and i said started the video but i meant we started before selling all of our nip nip we made nearly 200 million credits off of harvesting only five of my farms i'm very sure we can make a billion credits off of nip nip in one single harvest of all of my farms if the building of my farms continues at the current pace it does and it will and this has been your friendly neighborhood geck lord and i am going to go ahead and catch you in the next video keep it beast mode